So the clip we just saw, that, that was you beating Stan. Yeah. Is it Wawrinka, you say? Uh, I go Wawrinka, yeah. Wawrinka. Yeah. Well, obviously, it's a minefield for me, that one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, that's a risk, me saying that. Uh, that was you beating him in, in October, I think? Yeah. Uh, and you'd only had the operation in January? Yeah, end of January I had it, yeah. Exactly. So, so that, I mean, I imagine quite a nerve-wracking journey back to get there. Yeah, it was. I mean, because I didn't have too many people to look at that have had this operation. It's called a resurfacing, hip resurfacing, that I had done in January. And I didn't really have many athletes to, kind of to look at that had done that and then come back to playing. So I knew there was going to be some risks involved kind of with coming back, but it's been, it's been brilliant. I had yeah. zero pain in my hip and, um, yeah, can't, can't believe it, really. Didn't, didn't expect it. Well, especially to come back and win. Yeah. I mean, that's what's amazing, and that must have been so heartening to, for you and also for those who supported you, because there was a time when, I mean, it did look like you'd, you'd probably have to give up tennis, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, in December of last year, I was, I was pretty much done. I couldn't... I didn't want to play anymore. I wasn't enjoying training. I wasn't enjoying competing. Um, you know, just walking around the house and stuff was painful. It was waking me up at night and stuff. So, yeah, I just... I wanted to stop, and I wanted the, the pain to be... the pain to be done, and... Yeah. Uh, which must have been tough on you and also tough on your friends and tough on your family and, your, you know, your young family. Yeah, I mean, pr probably my, my family, my kids were probably too young to sort of realise, like, how much it was affected. It was certainly, like, my wife and my team that are spending all day with me um, trying to help me feel better and stuff. So I probably didn't appreciate it so much at the time because I was, like, so consumed with what was going on with my hip and how painful it was that I wasn't giving enough thought to how it must have been affecting them as well, but kind of now that I can reflect on it, now that I've got out of the pain, yeah, it must have been tough for, for everyone that was around. Because I imagine you're quite hard to live with anyway, but with a bad <laughs> hip as well. I think I'm probably right, Why right? Why did you say that? Well, because <laughs> anyone at the top of the game in your line of work, you have to focus on that, don't yeah. you? That has to be your primary focus. So I guess they have to accept that that's going to be this huge thing in your life. Yeah, I'm a pain in the arse. Yeah. I know that. Um, but, yeah, look, I mean, I've, I've dedicated, obviously, a lot of time to tennis. It's been my whole adult life. Yeah. So these last couple of years, when it looked like it was sort of coming to the end, you know, I was probably not that much fun to, well, to hang out. that must have been with. agony. When you've got something like a joint pain or something like that, you can't think about anything else, can you? Because just getting up and moving. You ever had anything bad like that, Luke? Mm, yeah, bad uh, neck... A prolapsed disc in my neck, oh. which was it just came from nowhere, and I couldn't turn my head for eight months. Yeah, I mean, nothing compared to that, but it was debilitating. And, and storms? Yeah. Last night I had a mad headache. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no,